personally. So what so, who yeah, what someone who is watching and listening us right now or will be listening on the replay can actually do today to start the first steps to the life message. What does it take to get there? Yeah. There are there are so many different things, but I'll be happy to share some of the insights. The first thing is clarity. I think most people don't have clarity. In fact, I was just having the date night yesterday, uh, today, today, this evening with my life partner, and I was telling her the same thing. You know, the problem we have, Biata, many times is in, in a relationship, person one, person two. Person one is not clear about what what he or she wants from person two, but he or she expects that it you know she or he will do everything. So, and the other person does something and then the first person says, you did nothing because we don't have the clarity about what we want from other people because we don't have clarity about what we want from ourselves. So I think the first thing is clarity about the person I want to become. And you know, there is this concept of goals, goal setting, smart goals, all that is fine. But I think, I think the one thing, the concept I talk about is what's your North star. You know, if you are lost in a jungle and you don't have a map, you don't have you know, Google Maps, you don't have GPS, you have nothing. You look at the North Star. What is the North Star of your life? You know, who is the kind of person that you want to become? Every single night I go to bed, I ask myself these three questions I learned from Brendan Richard. Did I live? Did I love? Did I matter? Now that's my North Star. So every single day, did I live? Yes, no. Did I love? Yes, no. Did I matter? Yes, no, it's a binary answer. So I think Bianca, if if somebody commits to answering yes to all these three questions every single night, they're gonna they are moving forward. They might not be there yet, but they are moving forward to the clarity. I think the second thing that people want to have the really you know life to become the life master is never be satisfied when they hear a clap. Appreciation and accepting appreciation is very good, but Biata, you know what I'm talking about. Oftentimes when we are moving forward and we hear a clap from the audience online or offline our attention goes there and then we keep looking at them we want more of them to clap and then we lose track you know in the, in the in the in the goal so of the goal so i think the second thing is to never be satisfied the third thing is to be in control there is something that has to you know something you have to do every single day no matter what that you control for me it's about writing it's about creating it's about rehearsing i might not get the outcome every single day but i actually create the input every single day no matter what a quick metaphor i would like to give to people all the time biara is the leaf and the stone you know i'm a i study different religious uh, religion and, and the histories of them and this example from buddhism really inspires me that if you take a, if imagine there, if there was a small stream of river here, and if I take a stone and put it there, and a leaf and put it there, the stone goes down in the depth, but the leaf will move forward. The reason for that is because the leaf does not have the weight of arrogance that that stone has. Oftentimes, when we learn learn stuff, we become the stone and we go down, right? We go down because. I know everything. I mean, what will you teach me about leadership? I read a leadership book 15 years ago already. I know everything about leadership. What are you going to teach me about life? I have lived life. It sucks. What are you going to teach me about relationship? Right? So that's their mindset about, I have, I call it the Nike syndrome, N-I-K-E. Now I know everything syndrome. Oh, wow. Now I know everything syndrome. That's what they have. So. So I think to be the leaf is something that is very valuable. Fourth is got to have a mentor. There is no other way. You can read the books, you can watch the videos, but my life changed when I decided to invest in myself. It's not a payment, you know, to, to a mentor. It's an investment in yourself because one thing I believe and I've seen over and over again, not just in my life, but all the people that I coach and mentor from CEOs, vice president, teachers, speakers, healers, um, you know, IT professionals is investment in cash can any time crash but investment in your brain will always give you the highest gain Whoa. investment in yourself is going to give you the gain that invest you, know, you can invest in stocks in apple and microsoft in in land or when the time comes right the real estate but the real real estate is you you know bet on yourself every single day and the final step i want to tell people is bounce back bounce back i was talking to you that i have some friends in in near colorado and one right. of them is a friend of mine called ian humphrey he's a famous speaker his video i think has got like millions of views on goldcast and uh 
Gurleen, good to see you. And and he says this line: "It's not about the, you know, it's not about the, you know, setback. It's it's not how many times you fall down. It's how many times you get back up. You are gonna fall down as a man. You are gonna fall down as a woman. Even if you are a great leader, people will always. Uh, some people, no matter how much you do, Biara, you know about it. Sometimes you do so much for a client. You do so much for a neighbor. You do so much for a relative. And sometimes one person will say, no matter how much you do, they will say this. What have you done for me? <laughs> That's what so true. Cool. Yeah. What have you done for me? So in that time, when we feel emotionally down, you have to have the right people in the environment to get you back up, and that's what a champion does, and that's what the people that you help so so awesomely to you know create the extraordinary lifestyle in them. Extraordinary people get back one more time, get the mentorship, invest in themselves, get the right skills, and really transform their lives. That's uh, what uh, Les Brown says. Only quality people, OQP. Yeah, only. Yeah, quality. absolutely. Yes, oh, I love that. I, oh my gosh, I made so many notes that, my goodness, thank you so much for sharing that beautiful wisdom that we can actually practically use in our lives. And I love what you said, clarity. Um, number one, yes, mm. that is one. The number one issue that my clients are coming to me, they are, they have no clue. And I was there too one time. I had no clue what I want in life, who I am, and why I am here at all. So I'm so happy that you brought this clarity to us.